afternoon everyone um it is blowing a gale outside um the rain is just bouncing off the windows and the wind is howling around the buildings and it's quarter past 12 at lunchtime <laughs> and we haven't even got to halloween night yet um i'm in an old police house that was converted so the chimneys oh my goodness when the wind blows it really does sound like a haunted house um it's great fun anyway i'm coming in this this afternoon just to show you uh, a couple of kits and to tell you about some sales that are going on now um now the first person i'm going to do is the lovely louise heinzel she has 60 percent off and it ends Sunday night at 12 o'clock. Now that will be European time, okay? So I thought I'd come and show you a couple of her kits that I've got that are really lovely and I'm gonna be doing Christmas kits. I've printed some more off as well. And over the next couple of videos, I will show other people's kits because I've been asked, you know, what sort of kits are out there at the moment for Christmas because obviously everybody's almost finished with fall, they're about to start their gratitude journals and they're also going to be thinking very much about what they're going to be doing for Christmas, card making, journals, gifts, you know, and your dead December daily. So the first kit I've got here of Louise's is Felice Navidad. And it is a very cute kit. It really is absolutely adorable. Now, those of uh, you that were on the live two weeks ago with Susie, will have seen a little bit of this when I was showing them what I was working on. And that video will come up in about a week's time because I'm doing advent calendars. How adorable is this? How cute are these? Um, she's got such a way with her artwork. It's just absolutely amazing. Excuse the blue fingers. I'm dyeing paper today. I've done a batch of orange and a batch of blue. And I picked the cloth up, forgetting to put my gloves on, and landed up getting blue all over my fingers. It's only um, food dye, so it'll be right, it'll come off soon. Now, how lovely are these? It's not often you actually see snow globes in a kit. And I thought this was just so, so lovely. I really did. And these tags are so cute. Look at the dog. His little face. Absolutely adorable. She just seems to have that way of just capturing, you know, everything so beautifully. And these are just so, so lovely. So this store, I'm just gonna show you one more kit, has got 60% off. Now I'm gonna put all the information down below so you can find it. Um, I'm actually in my kitchen today, so it's a little bit easier to show you the papers because I can put the camera up a bit higher. Now this one is Vintage Birds. And the reason I'm showing this one is it could be used for Christmas. She has another one, which is really, really gorgeous with blue birds in and it's a winter one. But I love this and I love the robin. That's one of the reasons why I've chosen this other kit to show you. And anybody who loves birds, this could still be used for autumn. And it could also be used for winter because of the way that she's done the background. I mean, look at that owl. How adorable is he? Really beautiful. So this is another kit, and as I say, 60%, it's, it's just an amazing amount of money to have off of kits at the moment, particularly at this time of year. If you are actually looking for something, look for the sales, because I'm sure there will be other people out there who've got sales other than the four that I've got here today. And aren't these lovely? These are just so, so beautiful. So that's her other kit that I wanted to just to show you. Because obviously I talk about Louise a lot, but I don't think I've actually, other than on the live, I don't think I've actually done, um, shown you any of her stuff yet. So that's Vintage Birds and those are both Louise. Now, the next one is Calico Collage. Now, Calico Collage has 40% off and it ends tonight. Now, Norella does beautiful, beautiful stuff too. I was also using this kit when I was on the live as well, so... Some of those you who are on the live will have seen this kit too. And this is Vintage Christmas. Look at those gorgeous poinsettias. And she's put a lot into this and it's really beautiful. 
I just love the colour of these. They're very, very traditional Father Christmas. And that's a backing paper. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen an image so traditional like that on, on a piece of work like this, you know, on a collage sheet and that. I think they're just really lovely. And what do you think of the kittens? <laughs> and then this is the ephemera. And I've been you and obviously you'll recognise some of these like here from the cards that I did last week. I just wanted to do a flip through of the, of the whole kit because I know I didn't do a flip through of the whole kit. So that one's Vintage Christmas and that's Calico Collage, that's Norella. And that is 40% off an ends tonight. Now this one is absolutely adorable. And again, you would have seen this on the live. Now this one again is Calico Collage and this is Candy Christmas. And it's lovely because it's a completely different look you know you've not got your traditional colors because sometimes you want something different particularly if you're doing something for children isn't it lovely so so cute i absolutely love this i really do all the all the candy stuff you know I and mean, we love um gingerbread houses and things like that and peppermint candy and isn't it adorable so I think this is such a lovely, lovely little kit. I really do. I mean, this one, I, I think, if I remember correctly, it came out last year. I've used it quite a lot. It's just absolutely lovely. So that's, sorry, that's Calico Collage. Now, um, which ones am I on here? And now we're on to our Tracy. Tracy Fox. Okay. Now, Tracy has 30%, sorry, 20% off if you spend £2 or more. Okay. So obviously, when you go to check out, um, it, it automatically gets done in your basket and everything, okay? So this here, there's only five pages to this. Now this is called Vintage Christmas. And Tracy brought this out last year. She doesn't really do seasonal. You know, Tracy is more um, on vintage other than, you know, seasonal. So I brought it out because I was doing flip throughs of Christmas you know kits that I've got and kits that I've seen I thought I would like to just to show this so this is a lovely collage sheet now the thing with this collage sheet think back to doing Christmas cards or journaling cards think about cutting these out or tearing them out because they would give a really lovely effect around them and what you could do with these on you know journaling cards and you know some of these smaller images you can even make your paper clips with um, so that's the first page this is another collage sheet that she did and anybody who loves angels this is so beautiful look at this little one down here is she darling and then she's got like uh, a grungy music sheet and another one in the blue and then some tags so it's a quite a little kit but it's got such lovely lovely things in it um again you know angels that you think all of us adore angels and the funny little snowmen and you've got your know, vintage Santas. So that's, she'll say to me, what do you show that kit for? <laughs> <laughs> so now, yesterday, oh, how we were all so excited yesterday. <laughs> right, Tracy has brought out faux vintage eye charts. Okay, and these are just amazing. Now, when you buy it, you can also print this up as big, if you've got an A3 printer, you could, print it up even bigger and have it on your wall I would think but isn't this amazing but think about it, you could also size this down small to have in your journals and it's lovely so you've got your distressed type one and then you've got one on like a beige background okay but then in the group if you go to Tracy's group she's given you a freebie um which obviously you can then do what you like with the background, print it onto something else, print it onto tea stain paper, coffee dye paper, whatever you like. Um, so that is the fr a freebie in Tracy's group, okay? And that's just gone up. So that's your vintage eye chart. She popped up yesterday. Now, Tracy's also been doing lots of tin toppers. So I wanted to show you them very, very quickly too, because obviously, um, it's just been mental in this house the last couple of weeks. I had, we gnarl all day yesterday and he is so active, you know, 15 months and he just doesn't stop. And he just adores music and he sings and he runs around and he, he crashed 
for a little while in the afternoon and apparently he hadn't been to bed. He'd been up since three o'clock in the morning and he had a little nap yesterday afternoon but then went right through to they went home and they got up a state last night. And the first night in a very long time, he slept right through to the back of four. So mummy was very, very pleased <laughs> he actually slept. So these are traces. Now this one is the plain tin toppers, okay? Because she's done plain, because people wanted plain ones so that they could then put in whatever they liked on the top. Now Tracy has a lovely video on how to stick these on your tins. Okay. I'll show you some tins in a minute so you know the sort that they go on. So that's your plain tin toppers. Okay. Sorry, that's got caught up with that. So that's the plain tin toppers. Then these are the vintage tin toppers. And I really love these ones. Absolutely lovely, aren't they? Oh, and I'm sorry, I think I stopped, haven't I? Have I stopped? No, I'm still going. Sorry, the, the, the little thingy had come up on my screen, so I was running out of battery. <laughs> so I have to talk a bit faster. Okay, so these are the vintage ones, which are really, really lovely. And you've got coloured again. And you think how much money it costs just to buy two of Tim Holtz tins. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and you've got the round ones. Um... The best place to buy the tins for these is, is Amazon. Um, I buy them all the time. I'll show you them in a minute. Now, these little ones will fit on the match boxes. And I've shown you match boxes before, I, uh, and I'll, I'll show you mine again. But she's done some different match boxes this time. And I store all my tiny little ephemera in the match boxes because they are, you know, it's a lovely place to keep them and it's easy to store them because they're square you know, they're, they're oblong aren't they so that's the next set and then we've got the fancy tin toppers and there's only a couple in this one but they are really lovely how are these aren't these amazing and she thought of the things that we would store in hard tins as well that's the other thing like on the other one you've got your binder clips safety pins here you've got labels stamps you know your book plates you know your little things go on the end these are just really amazing. She's really put a lot in it. And then she's given you some little plain labels. And there's a start of some different names that you can stick on. So obviously you can make your own up. Now, in the group is a freebie. Again. Now, she's given you a lid template, which means if you want to make something completely different, maybe you've got a favourite paper that you like. Um... It could be a wrapping paper even or something or even a, a pad that you've not used before and you'd like to get you know use that up you can cut your template out and use that to fit your lids and then you've got little t labels to go on top so that, again this is another freebie in the group then we've got the large toppers okay and the again the similar style but she's done both. She's done the, you know, the brown and the, the beige tones. More vintage looking. And she's also done the coloured ones. Now, I've printed all of this on card. It's um, printable card. And I mine Xerox that I get mine. Um, and it's a matte paper. I like the feel of it because it feels like vintage. That's why I love, love it so much. And these are your round ones. And they're so easy to do, you just cut them out and once you've got them stuck down on the top of your lid, you just get an old emery board and go around the outside, just buff it up a little bit. And then Tracy's done some amazing <laughs> things with the side of her tin. She's patinaed some and all sorts of different things. So I'm going to link her video because I'd like you to go and see her video because she does it so well. Now here, imagine these on some of your old tins that you got or even, you know, if you even... You know, we now get the plastic things with our sweeties in at Christmas, don't we? You know, the quality street and the roses. You could cover the lid and put one of these on. Or you can put them round jars. You think about a jam jar and you could put them round a jar. Um, I mean, like brushes would be ideal for me because I think I've got about three jars full of brushes. Lovely, aren't they? And then she's given you lots and lots of little words here. And I think... The black with the white writing is really popular at the moment. I think, you know, once Tim Holtz did it, I think everybody realised how lovely they are. 
it reminds you of you know getting the machine and sticking the individual letters in and uh, making them when you were kids so this is really amazing and then she's done it again in the like the tea coffee dyed coloring and again the same but in the more distressed and that's from another kit <laughs> picked it up too fast that is a kit that I'm going to show you on another video when I do some more Christmas ones from SS Digital Studio and it is huge a huge kit it's got 26 papers and 14 ephemera in it and it is massive <laughs> but what I like about it is that she's used all sorts in it um, she's used uh, like blues in it and she's used traditional and she's just put it all together in one kit and it is really lovely so I'm going to show that on another video right here's my little dotty here now Twistoon this is Lisa I'm going to link her group um, Lisa is having a Black Friday sale but she's also having a sale at the moment and it's what it is is if you type in Halloween 67 in the Halloween sale you will get 67% off now she, these are all digitals digital downloads 67% she has a bargain basement all the time and she puts digitals in there for just a pound okay and I just want to show you some of the ones that I've got because I am going to do a Twistoon video later on. I was hoping to do one earlier than this, but everybody knows I've sort of, in between my health and in between the kids and one thing and another, things didn't get worked out quite as planned. So that I actually colored this little dot in. Now these leaves are from the card that I did, a full card. I've put them on a couple of different full cards um, and they are a lovely. I absolutely love playing with these. Look at this little man. This is the, what she does. And the thing is, she's also got a YouTube video um, channel. And on the YouTube channel, she shows you how to colour. But she doesn't do traditional. She will show you another way. Um, most people, when you're at school, you learn the colour wheel. And you know to use the opposite colour and things like this. Well, she sometimes goes against that. And the effects are unbelievable. If you could see the way she colours in a tomato... Her own drawn tomato, uh, it's amazing. So I just wanted to show you a few of, so you can get an idea of what the sort of things that she does. I mean, these are just adorable. Look at our cat. Now this cat comes in, <laughs> in several different ways, you, you know, so you can get him and you could decoupage him up. I mean, I've got them all printed on A5 at the moment, um, but I think he's absolutely amazing, you know, stealing the tree. How many cats attack Christmas trees? They just do. And I know dogs do too. And they've got Plucky Ducky here. <laughs> but these would be great for kids and adults. You know, I mean, they are absolutely lovely. And that's the dolly that I did earlier. And look at him. Look at the sunflower. But I can see him so well in a lovely full journal. I really can. I think it's amazing. So that's our Lisa, and I will be doing more on Lisa. Look at the zebra. But she just has such a unique way of, of drawing. It's, it's just amazing. Now, that's the, the sales that I know of at this time. There may be others later, but obviously this is what I'm, I'm doing now. Now, the kids downstairs. Crazy Cat, the colouring competition in um, Sherry's group ends tomorrow night now it's not ending tonight it's going to end tomorrow night because i said to the girls said look if we end today a lot of kids are going to be coloring and doing games and things like that with their parents today um and they've got mum's not gonna have time to you know have take pictures get them online in time and what have you so i said right let's try and extend it a day so if you go into group now this is a kids only coloring competition there is another one image for adults but this one if you download this get the kids to color it now this is the kids from downstairs now katie and her brother they live with with mum but they're with dad like for half the week at least that's what it seems like um and so this is katie's 
And then this is her brother Harvey. Because I've just been handled the handy these. Now Tyler, he's he's the middle boy downstairs now. Um, the wee dude, as they call him, Declan. He's a couple of months older than Niall. And then Tyler, he's uh, what six, and then his brother Kieran is seven. And this is Kieran. Isn't that fun? I just love that so much. Now I printed off 13 of these, okay. The reason I knew I printed off 13 was because I thought, right, there's five children down there, two each plus a two extra, and there was one for me. Anyway, I thought, oh, I don't know, I might as well just send them all down. And then later on that evening, Mum messaged me to ask if I could send some more down. <laughs> so I sent another 15 down. Apparently they were coloured these again this morning. But these are their, their entries, and I've taken the photos, and I'm going to get them up in group. So do get the kids involved, because, you know, if you want to sit and craft or colour or whatever... They can be doing colouring this in while you're doing what you want to do. You know, it's easy if you've got a table. And you don't even have to have a table. You can stick them on the floor with a tray so they can colour on the floor. You know, there are ways and means of doing things. But it is good to get the kids involved early. It really is. Now, I know the grandson, Niall, will be colouring these today. He's going to be getting the paints out. Heaven forbid. Um, I think he'll have more on him than he went on the paper. <laughs> so I will show that at another time. But... Do go and have a look at the sales. If there is a favourite artist that you follow and you really, really love, go and have a look and see if they've got a sale on. Now, I have checked out Artie Mays, our lovely Andrea, because I want to show you her stunning kit from last year, A Winter's Tale. Um, uh, no, it, no, it was two years ago, actually. I made a beautiful journal with it, and I'm actually using that journal to stick poetry in. And... I just loved it straight away. It is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, I don't know when or if she's going to have a sale, but um, that is a kit to get. Um, she's put up some freebies as well. She's just been doing her poppy journal, and there are some freebies in group. So if you're not part of Artie Mays' group, go in and join that one as well. So it's basically the groups to go and join I will put all the links to the Facebook groups down below so that you know where these artists are. So if you want to join a group, you can. The ones with the freebies in at the moment are um, Paulette. Obviously, she has her freebies all the time. That's the vintage uh, copyright printables, um, TLC Creates. Then you've got Tracy. She's got freebies, Tracy Fox, and Andrea, Artie Mays, SS Digital, um, oh, Terry, Terry from Sweet Pea, pa Sweet Pea Papers, don't say it too fast, she's doing some lovely Friday freebies as well, um, and of course G, everybody knows G from Happiness in Crafting, um, so I will make a list underneath this video of groups that have got freebies in that if you honestly can't afford to go and buy a kit, getting the freebies will help you, so thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I'm going to go and do some red papers this time. I want to try and get some red and green done. I've got, say, the orange and the blue done, and I've done my coffee dyed. Um, I'm gradually taking over the kitchen. <laughs> Good job it's just me here and the cat at the moment. Have a lovely day. Enjoy yourself if you celebrate Halloween or Samhain, um, because obviously I used to celebrate Samhain. It used to be our Christmas. Um, so have a wonderful evening. Um, and I'll speak to you on the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.